Hi guys, it's Ginger. I'm here with another music review. This time, it's the new Harry Connick Jr. Uh, CD, and it's called That Would Be Me. I really liked this a lot. Um, you know, I don't have uh, much experience with his more current work. I mean, I know his work from the late 80s, early 90s. You know, he did some stuff on the soundtrack of... Uh, um, when Harry Met Sally and his um, his remakes of some American standards and things like that, which I always loved. Um, this I really like too. Um, you can really hear his roots in New Orleans jazz um, and kind of a Delta bluesy type of thing. There is a little bit of the big band in here too that he's famous for. Um, there was a song in here. I'm pretty sure I heard xylophone <laughs> in here. And uh, just so you know, I banned for know, six years in school and I played the clarinet and sang in choir for a couple of years in school and things like that. So took music appreciation. So I'm a little bit of a mu music nerd if you can't tell, but, um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, a couple of the highlights for me was, um, a song called I Do Like We Do. Now, if you, the title doesn't make as much sense, but when you read the words of the song, it was, um, Nobody Does I Do Like We Do, which makes more sense. So it's about being married. And, um, I really liked uh, Do You Really Need Her, which was really good, and Where Prisoners Drowned was really good, and um, Right Where It Hurts. I mean, it's it's a really great album um, with, you can really hear his southern influence, his Louisiana, New Orleans influences in here, because um, he... Was, he is a New Orleans native. He was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. And um, so you can really uh, hear a lot of that influences in here, which I really appreciate because, you know, where I live is just a hop, skip, and a jump from the Louisiana state line. So I appreciate uh, that type of music a lot. Dixieland and all that kind of fun stuff and jazz, New Orleans jazz and things like that. So um, check this out. Um, it's if you're a fan of jazz, if you're a fan of his, if you're a fan of uh, New Orleans sounding music, it has um, all that is you can hear his heavy influence and in all of those backgrounds, even the big band sound that he's known for too. So check it out, check it out. It's really good. I give it a thumbs up. Harry Connick Jr. from a very well-known family in Louisiana. <laughs> very well-known family in Louisiana. So don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy these music reviews. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you can come back and sit for a spell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.